Under this video, we are going to discuss about your learning to learn in constructive cognitive change. In this video, we are going to discuss about the foundation of learning, definition of learning and reasons for your learning to learning and key elements for learning, tools and techniques which are used for your constructive change. First, in the introduction, we are uh, telling that learning to learning is a yeah, not merely a surface level skill but to prevent a yeah, cognitive transformation uh, and it introduces the concept emphasizes and the significance in the context of personal and intellectual development by laying a groundwork for understanding a learning as a cognitive change. Then, foundation of learning. Uh, the foundation of a learning is an important uh, plays an important role for each and in, uh, every individual in his life that is develop into a yeah, foundational theories of learning drawing on educational psychology and a cognitive science explore how the individuals observe the process retain information laying a groundwork for a children's and learning is not is a foundation for the betterment of an individual in the society then the definition of a education that is a mayor in the year of year 1987 he describes the education in the following way changing the learner's knowledge manifested in changes in an academic motor social and a personal behavior is what an education is all about then reasons for learning to learning that is to uh, to alert the learners to their own and their others learning strategies it enables them to recognize a learning as a skill which can be improved as an important that is a vocational skill for a career as means of dealing with the change and reducing the stress as now we are in the future generation these are the reasons for the learning to learning then key elements for a yeah, students that is a yeah, key uh, learning to learning is a key element in this for the students the attribute of those students for example a fairly recent work of Gagne that is in 1970 provides a uh, representative definition of learning that illustrates a continuous references to a change and a behavior then learning to learning that is uh, it creates the openness creativity and critical thinking among the individuals and self-efficiency that is a motivation is a created for a learning that is emotional self-regulation will be a taken place in the individual cooperative regulation and control will be developed in a particular individual collaborative learning to learning basic cognitive skills cognitive uh, self-regulations will be a uh, developed and improved in a particular individuals in the learning process then learning to learning a learning to learning means assisting a student in seeing themselves as a learner and having a confidence that they can improve and they have a specific perception of themselves generally based on their academic results, a clear view of what uh, learning is and uh, what is not their learning experience so far, a belief is not gaining a degree with the support their life chances. Then learning strategies and a style. A learning methods or any activity deliberated, undertaken or a resources provided to help the learning process at an individual team or an organization. It is, the, it is to adapt their abilities to support the organization strategy. Then learning methods for the students. There are yeah, four methods. The first is an SQ3R method, then payment technique and retrieval technique and lenter system. The first is yeah. SQ3R method. The SQ3R method is a reading comprehension technique that helps the students to identify the important facts and retain the information within that textbook. The SQR method is an acronym that is it has a five steps of reading comprehension. The S stands for survey and Q stands for read and R stands for uh, Q stands for question and R stands for read and R stands for retrieve and R stands for review. In payment technique, a payment technique is an efficient method of learning a concept quickly, explaining in its plain and its simple terms. It is based on the idea, if you want to understand something, well, try to uh, explain it uh, simply. What that means is by attempting to explain the concept in your own. You are likely to understand it a lot of fast. 
then in the retrieval practice the retrieval is based on the concept of remembering at a later time recalling an answers to a questions then flashcard is a more effective than thinking you uh, know the answers and flipping the card over yearly lent system is a learning technique based on the flashcard that is yeah in the process it includes yeah in the third uh, one to three weeks it is a uh, it will be little bit harder in the one to four, 0 to 1 week it is a little bit easier for the individual in uh, 1 to 2 weeks it is uh, in the state of medium and 2 to 3 it will be a uh, somewhat harder uh, for incorrect responses we have to uh, move forward that is 5 4 3 2 1 we have to be in a descending order when for the correct answers we should be move forward that is for correct responses moving forward in an ascending order then learning styles the learning style that is the most simplest way of describing a learning style is to say that we are the different methods of learning or understanding a new information based on the four pre uh, dominant learning style that is visual learners. Some of the learners will have uh, seems to be a visual learners and some may be the auditory learners and some may be uh, used uh, to learn by uh, read or write and some may be a kinesthetic learners. Then lifelong learning. That is a person uh, from the birth till his death, he is continuously learning a concept to be uh, to develop his uh, knowledge. That is a lifelong learning includes the principle that learning and training do not uh, take place at a school or during a specific period. It is, uh, it is important for an individual and it provides the opportunity to require a new knowledge and to adapt the current information. Then learning as a catalyst for a change that is analyze how the process of your learning contributes to a constructive cognitive change and explore the role of education, uh, inquiring new knowledge, acquiring new knowledge and gaining a diverse perspectives in pre-shaping your thoughts, discuss the connection between the intellect curiosity and your cognitive adaptability. Tools for techniques, uh, tools and techniques for constructive change that is you examine various Therapeutic approaches such as cognitive behavioral therapy and dialectical behavioral therapy and mindful based uh, interventions. And it is uh, really important for setting your realistic goals and tracking a process uh, of your co constructive change. Then moving to the conclusion, what we have discussed in a learning to learning, it is uh, mainly emphasizes the holistic nature of a learning to learning. As a constructive cognitive change, this approach follows in depth exploration of emancipated dimensions of learning to learning as a constructive cognitive change. Thanks.